Kevin Spacey has been acquitted. He was charged with seven counts of sexual assault and three counts of indecent assault against four men, which is a lot, even by Hollywood standards. Those are the sort of numbers even the Catholic Church would struggle to ignore. Do you remember in the 90s when we all wondered how Kevin Spacey managed to play predatory psychopaths so convincingly? Then the charges came out and we all went, oh, so he's been going method. He was accused by one man of grabbing his crotch like a cobra. It was surprising. Cobras don't have hands. If Spacey did attack his crotch like a cobra, it would mean he launched himself headfirst across the room and sunk his fangs into the man's n like some kind of gay vampire. In unrelated news, Kevin Spacey will be starring in Gay Vampire 6. He needs to pay the legal bill somehow. So anyway, Spacey has been found not guilty in court. He remains guilty on Twitter though. Social media is so much more effective than a court of law. Why would you have to wait years to bring a case to court when you can fire off a tweet? Plus, you get to look great in the process. And if you're a woman, your word is gospel. Remember, hashtag believe all women. A Hollywood actress could have claimed she was touched up by the Easter Bunny and the bunny would have ended up on the sex offenders register with Easter cancelled. Back in 2017, when he was first accused, no one believed Kevin Spacey was innocent because he has shifty little eyes and when he got charged, he came out as gay. Do you remember that time Spacey got mugged at 4.30 a.m. in a London park when he was walking the dog? He changed his story 17 times before going public and saying he got tricked into handing over his phone. And then he hit his head by falling over his dog. I don't think that's the type of head Kevin was looking for serves him right. What kind of 44 year old tries to get laid in a park at 4.30 a.m.? Why is he not in bed, fast asleep, next to someone he despises like a normal person? Weird, I would have locked him up just for that. But seriously, I'm delighted that Spacey's been acquitted. I'm gonna celebrate by watching him play a predatory psychopath in Seven. Spoiler alert, his character was eventually caught, but not before decapitating Gwyneth Paltrow and silencing her forever. No one's all bad, are they? Spacey's charges were part of the Me Too movement, which brought down Harvey Weinstein. I'm glad he paid the price for his behavior. He was accused of masturbating into a plant pot. Now, I like a nice bunch of roses as much as the next bloke. I'm just saying that sort of behavior will get you banned from the Chelsea Flower Show. Anyway, Kevin Spacey is finally free to go off and grab life by the balls, like a cobra. <laughs>